beach, yeah? A what? A beach, a yeah. Beach, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically I'm from Southport, and that has a beach, yeah? So um, cool. I'm thinking, right, um, am I stand corrected that you do documentary? I do, yeah. You do? Okay, right. So basically, in a nutshell, I've, I've got it written down uh, in the chart. I'm thinking of doing a beach cleanup, yeah, but the aspect and what the general concept is and what I'm trying to get across is the litter that's on the beaches, that's plaguing our beaches, like all over the country. Um, I was at the beach last week and I noticed with one of my friends that there was, we could at least got a bin bag of um, plastics at least in the matter of an hour. So mm -hmm. basically what my drive is, because uh, global um, change awareness is to get people aware, then seeing as you have a beach as well, it would be good to uh, make a connection between those two beaches, uh, south and north. So yeah, um, can we elaborate on anything on that? Yeah, nice. Um... Yeah, might be. I mean, there's a lot of organisations that already do beach cleaning stuff quite a lot, like self-organised volunteer-run beach cleans, like Surfers Against Sewage. Do you know them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be worth getting in touch with them, definitely. Um, and Green... What is it? Is it mostly university students? There's like uh, Green Fingers or not Green in a way... Please on Facebook or Google or anything. No, it's like it's like a local. I think they're local. Um, like at, um, basically, at the town that I'm um, from, we don't do no organisation. Basically, it's pretty. It's one. Um, the politics behind it, if you get really deep into it, it's we don't do really a lot to um, like address the situation. We rather like. I noticed an article the other week that uh, some woman had a, uh, our counsellor, uh, I think her name was Maureen something, he had a tree cut back that didn't really need to be tree cut, uh, like cut back. And that's the sort of people we have like running like, our area, our town. They're, they're not addressing certain situations that I feel that could be addressed a little better for like, awareness for our town. Um, so. We're starting out, like, I can see that you've been in uh, this a lot longer than me. Mate, can you um, turn up your microphone? Because um, if you look at the bottom of Google Hangout, can you see, like, a little audio meter? It's got, like, six little dots, and they flash green when you speak. It's like an audio level no, meter. I, I can barely hear you, and I've got everything cranked up to full volume, but I'm, still, I'm struggling with what you're saying still. There's a bit of noise in the room as well, but it's right, usually... Let me take that off, wait. Hmm. Right, uh, there's no audio screen out. How's that? Is that a bit better? Uh, possibly a little bit. Can you see the dots along the bottom? Are they, like, reaching six all the way? There's no... Uh, to be real with you, there's no, no dots on the screen. All I can see is me in the corner, you in the middle, and a yellow line seen live at the top, and that's all on my screen. Ah. Is, is there a bottom at the but a button at the bottom that says live or like doesn't you don't see any audio level thing? Actually, oh, I should, yeah, I suppose it's different on your screen, huh? There should be like six little dots, little grey dots. And... There's no dots, but um, hmm. more like the, um, I can get my laptop tomorrow. My laptop's basically somewhere else, so. I can oh, cool. Yeah. If it, if, yeah. If it's. Uh, oh yeah, you want on a laptop, laptop. A tablet? Yeah. Then you change the mic level on my laptop. That's cool, man. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'll just, uh, maybe I can plug in a little speaker, actually. Because, uh... Yeah, give me one sec. I want the jiffy. Right, let's give that a bash. Can we do it yeah. now? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Loads yeah, better. better. Cool, man. Cool. So, yeah, basically, I'm just trying to, like, share this. Um, I can see through your, your Facebook that you're pretty more, you know, well more established than us. We're just basically starting off a uh, friend's um, a computer web page app designer. Um, it's pretty crude. Up. Um, I 
I'm pretty pretty good, but it's always good networking for ideas. Um, and sharing yeah. ideas basically. So yeah. But um, no one's in our area. There's uh, no no one does no beach clean ups and beaches are pretty bad, so my idea maybe is to like get someone um who could do documentaries to um help me address this situation. So that's what I thought of you. Because I don't yeah, um, so I'd like to give you a picture, I guess, um, and like just yeah, kind of thinking aloud, I suppose. Um, I've been working in film and video for like ten years, doing promotional videos for charities, um, and um, kind of running Change the Future, or, or being one of the people that runs it. Um, yeah, I, I kind of connect to a lot of projects and other people doing amazing sort of voluntary projects like Global Awareness and projects like that. And knowing that I'm a filmmaker, obviously there's a lot of opportunities for me to volunteer my time as a filmmaker to like help people in their projects and things. So like, obviously there's no way I could possibly, um, yeah, say yes to, well, like really any of them because you know, yeah, like, I, I, this is the poorest I've ever been in my life, and so I can't really afford to volunteer any time that's not on Change the Future sort of thing, and, like, making a film takes a bit of time planning, quite a lot of time shooting, and loads and loads of time editing. So, say, for example, if uh, um, money could come into the situation, how would you feel about that? Yeah, man, definitely. I mean, that's, that's what my film production is for, really. It's for facilitating me working on change the future and other voluntary things. So yeah. Obviously I can charge way less than I do for like corporate shoots. Yeah, yeah. So um what 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 would we um be talking about what in money wise, uh, could you give me a bit of back? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um yeah, so like a corporate shoot I would charge two hundred pounds a day equipped. Um plus travel expenses. So I I can do like half of that for a non-profit thing, you know, um, something that's like a community project, volunteer project. I can charge half of my day rate. Okay. That's so, 100. Yeah, so that's 100 pounds equipped. So we're talking a few hundred quid for travel expenses and so on and so forth. Yeah, whole thing. Like, I quite often will will plan, shoot, and edit a video for. Um, you know, for like a, a, a friend with a community project or something for 300 quid. Okay. Okay. That sounds reasonable to me. Mm. I, I could probably uh, raise the funds for um, January 2015 because that's when we're going to put everything right into motion. This is just like planning stages and networking and getting the word about and trying to yeah. talk to people about different ideas and projects. But it would um, it probably be, have to be within January because on the thirty first I start uni, so um, that's going to take a lot of my time. So wicked. Yeah. Did you say you were in? Where did you say you were? In, in Southport. I'm in Southport, yeah, northwest, not far from Liverpool, it's the seaside and so. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, my brother's lived in Liverpool for about ten years. Yeah, I've been up there a couple of times to visit him. That's about as close as I've ever got to where you are. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's a nice town, you know. It's uh, got some good people, but where it's one, it's not very good now. They're talking about taking out um, the street lights now, making some roads dark and some not, and the way they're running things. It's not really up to par, if you ask me in my personal opinion. Um, got yeah. a, basically a bunch of idiots. Uh, like you could have, you could have put some like uh, monkeys in there, like done a better job. Than monkeys, mm. so. but they're not really uh, that good. Basically. Man, just to just to say, not that it's particularly the right time in the conversation, but maybe there won't be. But like, you're so welcome anytime you want to visit Brighton. You've got a place to stay. Like, I'll show you around and we can really chat. Nice. And, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. I've never been to Brighton, uh, so it's yeah. nice. Put that on the cards. Uh, funny enough, um, one girl that I'm seeing at the moment, uh, she's in uni, uh, studying philosophy, mm -hmm. and she's talking about moving to Brighton after she's done her degree to live. I'm like, what's so good? And she's like, oh, I've lived up down there, and so on and so forth. And that. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, cool. 
Yeah, it's a wicked city, man. It's, yeah, it's quite. Um, it's it's not massive. It's like 150,000 uh, people, but it's quite um, cultural, mm. media, tech, <laughs> social. Quite radical alt alternative artsy place. Is it, uh, it's a city, quite yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the city, definitely. Yeah. It's mad because uh, we have a. You, did you say you have 150,000 in Brighton as a population? About that, yeah. People call it London by the Sea sometimes. Um, we have a. Uh, I think it was 99,000 I last checked, and we're only a town. So mm. a big difference in that between the city and the town. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's like something weird to do with having a cathedral or something as well. I think, isn't it? Yeah, you do. You have a cathedral, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Cathedral, city. Yeah. Am I correct? No. Well, say that again. Um, you have to have a uh, cathedral in a city to be a city. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think we've got one in the middle of town. Uh, yeah, we do. We have one about just a lot of churches and graveyards. Mm. It's quite, uh, it's quite a very, quite an old town, Southport, really. A lot of history, a lot of churches, a lot of. Uh, mm. I think we have like four villages, so quite big for the town, that. Yeah. Have you got a bit of a random question? I'm just curious. Have you got um, like any kind of measurable sort of goal for global change awareness? Like, so sort of six months in the future, you want to have, you want, you've got like a measurable goal or a year in the future? Well. On a like on a, a revolutionary thing, yeah, I do because I'm starting with university and I'm studying environmental science and management. Uh, I agree a lot about changing this world because I've done I've done my research, I learn and the two degrees of the war. And it's basically it's going to happen. Um, not one person can change the world, but if we all stick together, I think we can. So that's my I want to put awareness out there to um, aware people. It's basically. Um, like 10 years ago, I was born in the streets, so blah, 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 I'm not going to get into it and make a sob story, blah, 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 but that's the way I come from, but I had a change of heart a few years ago, and I got into a few things that led me to this, and I feel, I feel very passionate and quite strong about it, to tell you the truth, so the goal is for my friend to build a web page up, obviously we realise that we have to market to make the money to make the project bigger. We're not looking for mass gains, we're not looking for mass profit, we're looking to make it bigger. So we're going to go a marketing side of things on the web page when we've built up a rapport so we can make money through that. But we're not going to have just the old willy nilly marketing like silly taxi firms or silly stupid little shops. We're going to have like energy companies that are promoting good renewable energy and try and build them onto our page that gets a lot of people, like a lot of traffic. So we can make money to do more projects and we can make ideas with other people for other projects and so forth. So mm. that's goal mindset at the moment. But as you know, um, you could change every day. A new idea comes up every day, comes up every two seconds. All of a sudden you think, oh, that's an idea. Oh, that's another avenue to go down. So basically that's what we're doing because um, he's in full time work as a he works for a company doing um, web page and app design, so his time's quite limited. Um, I train all week, um, so my time's limited, so we're trying to do as much as we can possible. But for 2015, we're really going to give it um, a good push, so that's the way. That's our plan for so far, but plans change. Mm. Cool. So, what are you doing outside of Global Change Awareness? Is it in personal life or? Um, yeah, I suppose that work stuff and you're you're studying. Uh, basically, I'm starting uni. Um, basically, I train. I do a lot of uh, MMA. Um, I've had a few fights. Um, I've got. Um, I, I was luckily enough to. Uh, well, not luckily enough. That sounds wrong. There, uh, my grandma passed away uh, six months ago, and I got uh, left a substantial amount of money. So, Basically, I've been living off that. I travelled Asia, went to Cambodia, went to Thailand, I did go to Thailand and Angkor Wat and all the Buddhist temples and so forth. I had a really good time. Mm. Um, my daughter lives in Mexico City, so I've been there. I spent a lot of time there. So yeah, and I juggle a lot of stuff and I train like twice a day. So 
be focused as on that for next year. This is just all planning at the moment and trying to put an idea into process. Nice, man. <laughs> it's really nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, like, just, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it, that in the day and age we can just make a connection like this, just yeah, so... Yeah. That's, that's um, one of the things I love about it, like, getting into this. It's like, you can connect with a lot of people, and like I said to you before, not one person can change the world. But if we all come together, we can, and we aspire to aware people that are not really into it, and we can get a few of them to listen, we can spread the world. They like the word, because I do. I really do believe in this country, we're coming up to a point now where Russell Brand talked about revolution, okay, maybe not in the next week, maybe not yet, in the next year, but soon enough it will happen in this country. Mm. People are getting more spiritual, they're getting more um, educated, they're seeing the news, and then they look into something else, and then they realise a different concept. Like, um, I, I have a friend called Sophie, she's doing uh, philosophy, and she watched the documentary the night before she had a lecture, and she watched it, it's basically about the Muslims and ISIS and their concepts and con uh, like takes on it, and then she went into a lecture, and the lecturer basically told uh, her everything against what she saw in this documentary. So I said, how do you feel about that? And she said, well, basically, I believe the documentary. And I said, well, it was good to listen to two sides of two stories and make your own story. So, mm. yeah, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, and she, she basically went with what the documentary said, not what the lecturer was teaching her. But it's good to hear two sides of a story to make you more educated and aware. Definitely, man. Yeah, I feel like if there, uh, if there was only, I don't know, I think the main weapon that we've got as a global society and local communities as well to um, problem solve together and improve our communities together is create an interface between very different people in our communities, in our society. People who live just really totally unimaginably different lives, who right now have very little interface to kind of communicate with each other, to understand each other, and therefore care about each other. Um, and I think until we've got that sort of interface, that meeting point, you know, they don't go to the same parties, they don't work the same jobs, they probably barely even ride the same bus, and even if they do, you know, like people are too reserved to speak to each other anyway. There's there's not really a, a place that brings together people with totally different backgrounds and skill sets and ideas, you know, and different problems. So I think until we can sort of help improve that interface for bringing our very segregated community closer together, I, I don't know how much power we're going to really have to, to change things, because change comes from the top and the bottom and the sides. It's on an old circle. It's all a circle, and it's a vicious circle. And I don't want to be part of a, a change-making campaign that's bottom up, and I don't want to be part of a change-making campaign that's top down. Um, I want to be part of something that is totally outside of that spectrum of up and down, 99% and 1%. I want to be part of a change-making campaign that is attractive to every single human being, whether they vote Tory, Lib Dem or Green Party, whether they're on a £200,000 a year wage or unemployed. Well, and I think that's possible. I think there are ideas, there are concepts yeah. that do attract all of those people, potentially, or at least enough to entertain a new conversation where all of us are invited together. I feel like actually yeah. basically everyone sooner or later will come to the realisation that they do get something out of being connected to people that they have never really been connected to, even if at first they have a degree of like resistance or like this is out of my comfort zone or whether it's I don't talk to Islamic people, home people, whoever we've got some kind of block against sort of socialising with, connecting to, like a lot of my friends might have a block to uh, talking to people in the English Defence League, maybe, or whatever. Like these are random examples off the top of my head, um, just to just to illustrate a point. But I just mean everyone's got sort of prejudices about a person, like based on 
who they vote for or what they represent. And I think if we can identify and shine a spotlight on actually what connects us, which is actually the mo the biggest needs of all, you know, food, love, um, shelter, these sort of things. We've got a very simple, basic starting point, which we appreciate. Everyone has those needs. And right now, even those needs aren't really being met. No, 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 I understand. Uh, we need more diplomatic approach to things. Um, I say we need to see it from both sides. Um, but like you said, you don't like the 99%, the 1%, the 1%, the 99%. Somewhere we need to meet in the middle. Mm. Uh, like grasp all these concepts and, and address all these situations. Because let's be real, we could say we could like be on this all night and talk about how many problems there is and the ways we can go about it. But it's time to bring it all together, uh, spread the world, uh, word a little more, and get more people involved. And like you said, the community. Hence, that's why I said. Beach, uh, beach clean up in my town would be good because no, I've checked, no one's ever done it in my town. So mm. I, um, I, I do um, have a little pulling power. I know uh, the editor of the local newspaper personally. Um, I can get him involved, I can get the biggest website. Funny man, I think so often with actions like that, initiatives like that, the the biggest value of all is sometimes the least obvious one that you never expected, like just a connection between a couple of the people who go to that event who they recognized it as an opportunity and thought it might be fun and then together they set up a project together or they get involved in global change awareness and it goes in a slightly different direction or it's, I don't know, it's so unpredictable isn't it? Like, that, I think that's what's one of the beauties about it because it, like, it changes every day, it, it changes in the next hour we don't know Yeah, which is very Inevitable that change is going to happen. I do believe yeah. it. Um, very soon. Sooner the better. My yeah. Words. Sooner the better. Um, I'm going to go and uh, look for my bicycle, which I think I've just remembered where I've left it about two weeks ago. I've <laughs> stolen. Yeah. Uh, I just thought, if you if you feel like it, maybe we could leave each other with a question. And yeah. I have one for you for when we next chat, which. I asked near the beginning, but I would, if you feel like it, I would, I would love to like have more information on it. And it's just about those like measurable goals. I think is, I basically think, global change awareness is, is spreading some really interesting, useful information. And and yeah, I think you're a top bloke. I really get on with you, and I want to chat more and stuff. But I think something that would make what you're working on more sort of tangible, uh, for me and maybe other people would be like if you had. Yeah, just like this is exactly our target, and if we exceed it, that's awesome. But like a measurable goal for the future, yeah. More of a direction. Mm. Yeah, and I appreciate your comments, and I appreciate your input because that's why we're speaking now. So mm. Whether you might know something I don't, therefore, and so on. But I appreciate what you're saying, so I take that input now. So I have to take that and think about your question to apply that to something now. Think about a goal and more of a, um, a goal, even though it's a family tree and off goal, other things yeah. come up, but a main goal. And yeah, because yeah. I think, like, you know, I've got a lot of feelings about the education system and how it's based much too much on jumping through hoops and, and like numbered goals and stuff. And I think you can get too obsessed with goals and A stars yeah. and, um, certificates and things like that but actually I think if you look at it in a slightly different way like yeah you don't have to kind of in each minute be think like be really like goal driven or money driven or um, no, no. Rate driven but I think like probably two years from now you'll look back and reflect on global change awareness and, and like what you've done and I think you know, there's there's some factors that are gonna influence how well you think it's gone. So, like, if if you're in exactly the same position now in two years' time, you probably will be like, oh yeah, that's like there's probably some room for improvement there. But then maybe if you've got I don't know, ten thousand people signed up to something, or you've done twenty actions like a beach clean, like that's one goal, isn't it? That's a measurable goal. I think just things like this will really help. At least people like me really get a visual idea of 
what you're aiming towards because I guess there's so many projects that have got really good sounding values and sort of ideologies but I guess I'm really interested now more than ever in um, the details of the approach like how exactly are you going about it and what you want to have done sort of within six months or a year from now because I guess I've just felt like that's really helped me get real clear movement that other people see as well as me. Okay, yeah, I appreciate, uh, appreciate uh, your comments and I'll put that on board. Mm. Um, I'll utilise your words and put it into practice. Sweet, man. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Cool. What was your question for me, if you have one? Mm, question for you. Um, and I'll sit on it and bring back an answer. Or maybe it's something you want me so to do or anything. Any question in the world right now for you to do? One question, right? I ask this question to a lot of people that are not Do you think a revolution, because it has not really happened, do you think a revolution will happen in this country? All right. It's definitely a question I want to answer now, but I'm going to sit on it, like I said I would, and uh, pick up with you on the next chat. Okay, I look forward to hearing that one. Will a revolution actually happen in this country? Yeah. Right. Come on. Short. Sooner the better. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. All right, man. Uh, yeah, good chatting with you. Uh, cool, take care. Yeah, I'm accessible, so just ring yeah, me. Yeah, or, um, we're linked up, so yeah, it'd be good to liaise with you. Yeah. If I have um, a question I need to ask that I'm not sure of, I'll come yeah. to you and see what your concept is on it. Yeah, definitely, man. That's that's what we're for, isn't it? If we can't be here for each other, then what are we promoting? Nothing. <laughs> Sweet. All right, you're part. Have you joined the Change the Future workforce group as well? To be. I think I have. Yeah. So we've got a page which is for us to broadcast updates. And there's another one that I added. Yeah, I think, I did. I think there was two of them that I added that yeah. I liked to get all the information. Yeah, I'm sure I did, yeah. And if not, I'll check. Oh, yeah. So the page is for broadcasting at people, and we don't use it that much. We use the, the workforce group more, Change the Future Workforce. And that's more for, like, democratic decision-making and more, like, internal decisions, shaping the movement and driving it forward. But... Real nice chatting to you, man. Take care. Thanks. I appreciate it. You take care and have a good night. Yeah, you too, mate. All right. All the best.